All right, thanks for joining in, Chaitanya. I can see uh, you have joined in. Just trying to check if you can hear me. Please do acknowledge in the chat window. Are you able to hear me? All right, perfect. So let's begin. So I believe Goresh uh, will join in a, in a while. He just missed it that he's driving and so forth. So as usual, let's get started by doing a small recap of what was being covered across yesterday. And I hope you did receive across that document with regards to the video ads. All right, perfect. So let's do a recap. Would like you to share across the topics which you remember from the previous session. What all did we cover across? And then we'll move further with today's session. All right, you did, did run across a video test campaign. Is that so? Shall I look into it? All right, so this, this, is, this is the one which you have run across, the test video campaign, and it's all time. All right, so I don't see any matrices. No impressions have come in, right? Okay, it's been paused right now from your side. The ad group is paused. All right, now that one, there's some other one. All right, let me just check. All right, so I don't see any other video campaign. There are three video campaigns and none of them have got matrices. Certain uh, numbers. The test video discovery campaign. Oh, all right. Okay, here you go. There's one. All right. So you have run this across for which all days? When I mean, was it done yesterday or prior to that? Yesterday itself, okay. You. All right, let me just go ahead and check the ads and so forth. Well, it's very important that you go ahead and he's saying now only and then you paused. Okay. It's the same one which uh, we created during the session yesterday. Okay. All right. Great. And so you've got 17 views with these many impressions, and this is the view rate. Average cost per view is coming out to be 11 Indian rupees when 25 paisa. The cost is this much. See, well, what you need really need is uh, conversions to be set up across. That's very important. I call also. You got a call? Is that so? I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't understand what you say. Now, when you say call also, what does that mean? We got one call. All right, that's good. And that was because of a video ad. That's great. So if you can connect across your YouTube account with the Google AdWords, I'll give you much more information. So do make sure that you link it across. That's very important in order to get across much more information about your campaign. And I'm just going to the targeting section, just trying to recall. You've got the credentials now. That's good. Now you can do it. All right. So this is 
running across for all the age groups, right? That's what we did. And uh, majority of the views you have received from the unknown section, which is absolutely fine. 18 to 24, otherwise it's the most. All right, so in terms of gender, more of a, or it's a more unknown. Okay, and then the other one is, so this is something I don't really rely on, whether it's a parent or not a parent and so forth, right? It's just is not so easy for Google also to get to know. The details uh, in terms of on which all videos did it run it across? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, what sort of details are you looking for, Chaitanya? If you want to know that on which all particular the statistics which you're showing, video targeting. So this all statistics is under video targeting. All right. Now the good part is, I mean, uh, all right, so we haven't got any views over here. I'm just trying to check the impressions and the views. It's showing 17 views in total and 2,224 impressions, but none of them came from this for these particular placements which we selected. It's actually other than that and the that report isn't there with us. So let's see. I'll just scroll further and see if there is some more information which Google AdWords is going to provide us. So it's post majorly, I believe. No, not that one also. See. These overall clicks and impressions which we have received on what particular website or YouTube page or YouTube uh, channel have we received that I'm just trying to check that we haven't got much data with regards to this all right so we didn't use the remarketing option that's why there's no data we didn't use across the interest targeting also that's why there is no data all right the only thing which we used across with regards to targeting was placements right we have selected certain videos these were the videos i believe right yeah it's it's a youtube video it says so there were five different youtube videos which we selected that our video ad should run before these five youtube videos and i can see there's uh, on none of on none of any of these uh, videos we have got not even a single impression now this is pretty strange but the total number of impressions which we have received is 2224 and 17 views now, where have we received these? That's something which we are not getting across. We do not have a dimensions tab also for this. All right, so here's the keyword section. I'm just trying to see which are right, its so videos and it's so 17 views, 0.53 views, average CPV. Plus cost is this much. All right, see, I think uh, this more details will come in when we will, once you will go ahead and connect across your YouTube account, link your YouTube channel. So 17 paid views, no likes or no shares and no subscribes. And this is something which you received yesterday and in today's time period. All right, so this is the ad basically. And this ad has been, uh... oh, okay, I'm so sorry. This is a video discovery ad. I'm, I'm so sorry, this is not an in-stream ad. I was just thinking that it's an in-stream ad. 
All right. Now on video discovery ad, uh, what we get across is that uh, those four different options that for a certain search query, our ad is going to appear across for the YouTube's in this YouTube search results. That was number one. Plus, in the related chat, in the as a related video, that's number two. Plus, on third-party partner sites and also the banner ad, which is also called the overlay ad. Now, in video discovery, we don't get across that detailed statistics. In video discovery, we do not. If you want more detailed analytics, that is something which comes across in the in-stream, the in-stream video ads. Or the one which are skippable ones. All right, so you can try and test out. That's good that you've got uh, you know conversions uh, getting calculated through other ways, through a phone call and so forth. But I would recommend you to use across this option, which is by going into the tools section and clicking on do conversions. Now you do set up conversions. Uh, you said that you've got a new landing page that's why you know you uh, you haven't really set it up but now you can do that plus the other thing which we did yesterday was the insta page i hope you remember that with insta page did you try making uh or maybe you can try it out later if you didn't get time or right, you started it that's good yeah because you've already got i think it was 14 days which you mentioned right 14 days or 19 days i forgot Okay, I think it's 14. All right. Okay. Now, what we'll do now, we'll start with a mobile app campaign. Is there a mobile app for your college uh, somehow? Okay. I'll tell you a particular website through which you can create across a mobile app in a very easy manner. Give me a second. I forgot the name. One second. Yeah, Happy Pie. Right, so Happy Pie is the one which is a good resource in terms of creating across a mobile app, right? This is the one I use across. So we can use this across right now. So let's log into this one. Happy Pie helps you to create across great mobile sites. Sorry, mobile apps. Okay. Now, if you already have a website of yours, then uh, this will help you to set up across a mobile app in a very easy and a quicker fashion. The creation of the app process is pretty simple. Simple the way we have seen uh, creation of a landing page to Insta page is pretty simple, right? In a similar fashion, Happy Pie helps us to create across a mobile app, guys. All right, so I'm just logging into my account. All right, so I'm clicking on to create a new app. In order to set up an app for uh, for your college, you can actually try this out. Now you do not need help of any designer and developer in this, this case, but uh, in order to get this app live, there's a certain price which they'll charge, but creation of a mobile app is absolutely free. All right, so I can just to make it simple we can try and test it out and give you an overview of how it's going to work like once you have a mobile app then you can go ahead and promote it across with the help of google mobile app campaigns 
or as you can see, there are site links which are automatically coming in for uh, your for your college on its own. There is nothing different, which is nothing extra, which is done on its own. How about this? Do you think you have done something different for this? Like getting across your profiles, connected over here. These all come on its own. Right? Did, so just trying to check with you. Did you do something different in order to get this, these profile icons and your reviews also right up over here? They are being automatically pulled across from Google, Google business page. So you have a Google business page already there and there are reviews onto it. All right, so I'm picking and choosing across this website URL, and we'll be creating across an app for this. We have to choose a category, it's an education. Now we can enter across a Facebook page also over here. So that's one, or we can enter across the website URL also. Okay, first of all, Possible for you to share with me the Facebook Facebook URL, the Facebook page URL of your All right, this is the one. All right, so here you go. I've entered across the URL of the Facebook page. What is this? All right, so you have a different one, all right. All right, so why don't you uh, really go ahead and club these two? If they, this is, there's a, it might have happened that Someone else might have created this, right? Or okay, this is something else. Ethames graduate school, and this is a degree college. Okay, that's the case. All right, so it's not recognizing. All right, there you go. This is the one. We have got it now. Clicking next. Now here are various themes which are being provided in terms of getting across our mobile app setup. We'll keep on getting across a preview of how our app is gonna look like. So we can select this one or the other one. Or maybe this one. So whichever one works the best. Shall we go, for which which one do you think you, you wanna go with? Theme one, theme two, theme three, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the number two. All right, more imagery, absolutely looks good. Perfect, now we can go ahead and make across changes right up over here. Now what you can see is that um, for all of these, for an Apple, for Android, for Blackberry, for Windows, for Amazon app, and so forth, you can uh, set the preview on your own. Now we are on the About Us page, and uh, 
I think it has already taken across the content on its own. It's been pulled out from, what do you say, the Facebook page itself. And there are certain, so the images are also right up over here. We can go ahead and change across a few more things instead of video, events, and so forth. We can make changes to it. All right, so here's the About Us page to begin with, the About Us section. The About Us section is showing content this. I can go ahead and change the icon from here. I can change the name right from up here, plus the description, all right, and so forth. In case of furthermore text, which is over here, uh, we can make changes to that as well, plus some more styling and so forth. That so. As you can see, it's again uh, very much the similar kind of a thing, the way we saw with the uh, Insta page, right? You don't have to really do a lot of hard work. It's just that uh, time consumption is needed. It's gonna be investment in regards to the time. You have to go ahead and take the content and post it over here. You can edit the icon again and so forth. The, web, the page name, what's the website name. If you want to, the moment somebody is gonna open, click onto this. Do you want this to open across within the app browser or outside of that? So I have enabled it outside of this. And so forth, I can add on a more page, right? and several other things. So the, there are multiple things which we can do. We can add on a quiz, guys. Uh, Chitanya, we can add on a quiz, a folder, a pocket tools, blog, LinkedIn, so forth, and quite many other things, right? We got the LinkedIn tab. We can add on some more things right up over here. Is there a social something? All right, a chat functionality, excuse me. Any multimedia stuff to be added on, right? The contact us section, information section, so you can add on any other thing which you wish to. Right, once that's been done, then you can go ahead and click next and uh, get it saved. I believe it's clear, right? So there's not much of rocket science. You just have to go ahead and uh, take across the details from your website and place it right up over here. You can do the theme customization also. What's your app icon? So now this is very important. Your app icon is something which gets visible across in the Apple store, or the app store, or maybe the Google Play store, right? And that, uh, that proves out to be one of the biggest factor for people to decide whether they want to download it across or not, right? So you can, Go ahead and uh, get an app icon, a good gap app icon to be created, and then replace it over here. You can have a different screen also. The, the background screen, the splash screen, basically the background screen is this one right now. You can change it across to any other. All right, theme we have already selected. The style and navigation can be changed right from here. And the overall way your pictures are being represented and so forth. Now you can uh, set it up in this way also if you wish to, or maybe in this way. That's up to you. All right, all the page styling, coloring, and all these options are there. So you can, all, you can go ahead and uh, get the designing thing. So this is purely all designing. You can get this save and finish. Click onto that. Or it says LinkedIn page is left blank. All right, as of now, I'm just going ahead and deleting this.
you can surely go ahead and uh, do things the way you want to in terms of your theme and then click on to save and finish. All right, now it's uh, gonna ask you money for actually going ahead and uh, publishing it across. Now, if you want to publish it across on uh, all the major app stores like Apple App Store or what do you say, Android and so forth, plus this is an HTML5 one, uh, it's gonna charge you 9.99 rupees per month. And if it's just uh, Android, which is Google Play Store, is going to charge you four ninety nine. All right. Hope that makes sense. And if you want to go ahead and uh, do this for free, then it's just that uh, it will be there for all of this. But the only difference is for twenty four hours, it's going to be available in terms of editing, and uh, there would be Appify ads which will come onto it. Plus, you will not be able to get it across under your developer account. It would be just straight away. So developer account is an account which gets created across onto these Play Stores and Apple App Stores. All right. So you will not be able to create that and you won't be able to get across the reviews and so forth with a free one, free version. All right. The Google Analytics will also not be there and so forth. So uh, it's better to go ahead with this particular option if you can write and so forth. But uh, if you've got a developer like you have already got, so you can anytime uh, you can anytime uh, you know get it set up, and that would be just a one-time cost. So these people are also asking for a one-time cost, which is for the lifetime part. All right. So you can anytime go ahead and get it developed develop from a designer or a developer in your case. Now, let me just check if do we have Gorish. Gorish, you have also joined in. Can you hear me? All right, perfect. That's great, Gorish. So, what we have covered up till now is the way, the procedure through which we can create across a mobile app. All right, here's this tool which is called uh, Appy Pie. All right, with the help of Appy Pie, it's pretty simple. You do not have to really do a lot of hard work. The way we covered across Insta page. With Instabait also it's drag and drop functionality, same uh, stuff which you can do it over here with Happy Pie. Now the next thing is uh, going on to AdWords campaign, AdWords account and creating across a mobile app campaign. All right, let me just go ahead and close these. All right, so we would be needing across a specific uh, mobile app for getting this set up. I can take across some, some other mobile app and some other account. Gorish, if you want me to grab any mobile app and you want me to work on yours account, I can do that. But otherwise, uh, I can take across a test account All right, on a test account, I can do that. Or on your account, shall I show it? The sample, or the sample account. All right, so I'm uh, going on to a, a test Google AdWords account. And in this, what we have to do in this scenario, guys, we have done the search, we have, we have covered the display, and we have covered the video portion, right? We will be now going ahead and clicking on the plus new campaign, the plus tab, and search with display something where you want search and display to come in together. I don't recommend doing that across. And then the other one is the search network only, display network only, shopping, and then video. Now for shopping, we need across uh, an e-commerce site for in order to set that up. We will do that later. 
uh, all right, we'll be take, I'll be taking across any specific e-commerce website to set that up. We are done with search, we're done with display, we're done with video. Now this time it's gonna be a universal, universal app campaign. I'm clicking onto this. Since it's a mobile app campaign. All right, so which particular mobile app shall we take across as an example? Okay, any, any we can take. So this one is a test mobile app campaign. It's not much of a rocket science, it's pretty much the same. All right, universal app campaign. And uh, it says app install campaign that run across the search, display and YouTube ad networks. All right, there, won't be, there would be uh, ads all across the various different networks which are there. The YouTube network, the display network and also on search network, the mobile app campaign is gonna run. It says most of your ads targeting and bidding will be automated based on your app selection. Okay. Now the next thing is selecting across your app. There are two major, okay. You have to click on to add new. There are two major app uh, sections or app uh, choices, which are over here. Either you have an app on a Google play store or you've got an app, which is on, uh, on the Apple store. All right. So you can pick and choose that. So let's say the Google Play Store one, I have to go ahead and enter across the name of the app or either the ID or a publisher. Whenever you uh, are done with you know, an app being created, what you have to do is you have to submit that app into these uh, app stores, which is also a very simple process. You have to go ahead and sign up by creating an account on them and submit across your app by giving information about what your app is all about and so forth. Now, whenever you submit across your app in these stores, they give you across an ID, all right, a publisher ID and so forth. Now, let's try to see if I can, what sort of an app should I take? Let's say anything related to cricket. I'm just trying to see if there I can find out something. So here are certain applications. mobile apps, which I'm getting to see, I can go ahead and select any one of these. Or shall I do it in anything related to, let's say, colleges. All right, so there are quite a many of them over here. And so let's say this is one of the college. Another one. So I'm taking one of the college's uh, application over here. And just to be in sync with the kind of, uh, you know, example we have been taking so far. So let's assume that this is our mobile app and we are going ahead and promoting our application, mobile app, and we are looking for more installs for that and so forth. I'm clicking on to continue. All right, now here automatically the app icon and the app, uh, what do you say, reviews and so forth are being pulled out. So this is the preview on how the app is gonna look like on, uh, what do you say, Play Store, on Google Search Network, plus on Google Display Network, right? So on Google Play Store, this is how it's gonna look like on Google Search Network and on Google Display Network. This is how the mobile app is really gonna look like with its app. Now, the other thing is submitting across the text ad ideas. Add text ideas could be any, so.
All right, not sure what else should I write in the class? Any suggestions you want to give me in terms of the attic study, which I should put in the class? Any questions, any suggestions? I'll just, uh, or these are the only ones which you can come up with. I'll just check over here. All right, I can type in degree college. All right, so all right, so I've just written across certain text guys which ever came to my mind, and this is how the text is also going to appear along with the name of the app plus the icon and so forth. All right. Now, if in case you want to uh, publicize it across with the help of a YouTube ad also, onto YouTube, that can also happen. You know, your in-stream ads would run across onto YouTube in order to promote across your mobile app. So you can advertise your app on YouTube by adding up to five videos. All right. If you leave this field bank, AdWords might make a video for you on your own. All right. So... You can add up images also. So here are the uh, files which are accepted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in across the video which you gave me the other day. Can you give me the URL of the video once again? All right, thanks so much. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. All right, so here I go. I'm going to go ahead and place across the video URL right up over here. So when our mobile app is going to be promoted across onto YouTube, it's gonna be accompanied not just with the app icon plus the reviews and the description around it, but it's also gonna be the videos which is gonna be run up there, all right? We can go ahead and uh, have more videos being inserted over here and automatically set certain given time, certain given of times at certain intervals, Video one would be selected at certain intervals, video two would be selected and so forth. All right, so we can have various different options, like five different options. Now the next thing guys is pretty much the same, which is in terms of location, the location options. All right, so do you want to target people who are, who would be very much interested in your product and do you want to exclude across people uh, who might not be interested who are in excluded locations, you can let these be in the default section. Let the, ta so target and exclude, let them be in the target in the default way. 
and then comes in languages you are aware of that already so we are going ahead with the english language plus then comes in campaign management is another setting so it is asking what is your campaign objective is it to get new users for your app or is it to get new users who are likely to com complete in in app actions that you select what is the overall you know campaign optimization you just want to go ahead and uh, get new users you can you can select this or if you want want to get new users who are likely to only those users users who are likely to complete in actions that you select all right now this option is going to be uh, you know accessible only you have run the ad first on the first one and then got google analytics also set up and so forth sorry uh, conversions being set up and so forth the next thing guys is bidding which is pretty much similar i put in across my bidding to be 5 and and then comes in the budget and then click on to save and continue all right so we are done it didn't have much of a targeting options guys automatically your mobile app is going to be shown across for the keywords it should be shown across and also on various different platforms on mobile for which it should be shown across you don't have much access to you know or, or options to choose from in terms of where to show the ad where not to show the ad and so forth the mobile app campaign ad Right, so that's how it works with mobile app, guys. You can go ahead and uh, manage your conversions and so forth. All right, so how hope that makes sense. That was a pretty simple one. Are we good with this? All right, thanks, Chaitanya, for acknowledging. How about you, Gaurish? Are you good with this? This was not much of rocket science, it was just a few. All right, clear, perfect. It was a pretty simple process. Now, the next thing, guys, which we can uh, start with today, it's email marketing, all right, which is going to be the next module. We're done with Google AdWords. You can set it up and you can run it across and so forth. And um, we will start with uh, email marketing. What we can do, we can uh, Take a break as of now and then we'll start with the email marketing and I will be showing you one of the great email platform guys which is called MailChimp. All right, with the help of MailChimp, we can go ahead and promote across our business, our product and services to the right set of people provided if we have email addresses of people whom we want to go ahead and send out an email to. All right, so we'll go for a break, guys, and then after the break, we'll start with. Oh yes, you okay? You you're lacking with the website. I think this is becoming uh, seriously crazy. The website is not being given across to you. Can you can we? All right, so let's let's forget about email marketing. We'll do with the website part. Whatever portion I have taught you, let's. Uh, I'll give you the hosting part. Why don't you go ahead and. Uh, Think of a domain name first, and let's uh, let's create across your website today. So I would request you to think of a domain name, guys. Whatever domain name you want to purchase, we will we'll get this today. I'll show you how can we get it across for a lesser price and so forth. So what you can do is. Go to google.com guys don't don't open godaddy directly i'll just tell you what is to be done when it comes down to buying across a domain go to google.com type in a specific search query which says my cheap domain the moment you're going to type in across my cheap domain uh the advertisement which you've seen the advertisement for GoDaddy, which is going to come up over here, go ahead and click onto that. All 
All right. So here's the URL for GoDaddy to buy across the domain. So all you have to do is you have to search for the domain which you want and see whether it's available or not. Just check the availability of the domain which you want and do it across on the URL which I've shared with you. And then we'll take it further from there. All right, so just search in for the domain guys which you need. Once you are able to get to the conclusion that, okay, yes, this is the one which you want and this is available, then we'll take it further from there. I'll put myself onto mute for uh, 15 minutes or so and then we'll start after the break.
All right, guys, let's get started after the break. Uh, just want to check if you are able to hear me. Uh, Chaitanya and Gorish, are you able to hear me? All right, perfect. All right, so did you try, did you try out, uh, what do you say, booking across the domain onto GoDaddy? So we need only a one, uh, one year domain, which is going to fetch us across somewhere close to 120 rupees or something. Right, shall I help you with this? Uh, you're saying no, no, give me a day of time. We'll, okay, you, you have to think about the name. All right, Chitana, no problem. Gorish, how about you? Uh, have you thought of a name? Because you would have to give us, a, uh, even if uh, Nitin has to provide you the domain. So I was thinking I'll go ahead and give it to you straight away. So you just uh, go ahead and spend it across 120 rupees and so forth. 99 plus including taxes, they're going to be uh, plus plus added on taxes will come out to somewhere 120. We'll buy that and I'll give you hosting from my side and then we'll be good to go. We'll start with website creation procedure, which we started in the very first session. So shall I uh, get started with email marketing? Okay, you're saying you can able to do e Oh yes, absolutely. I'll help you to uh, set up across an e-commerce website too, if you wish to. Goresh says no audio. Goresh, you're not able to hear me. Goresh, I'm at speaking mode. Well, I'm at speaking mode. I'm not sure, Goresh, what's happening. Uh, this happened yesterday also, right? Yes, Goresh, I'm here. Uh, shall I get started with email marketing in that case, or how should we do it? We can start with email marketing, all right. So I just want Goresh also to listen to me. I'm not sure why this happened. You start, shell check, all right, perfect. 
So we're starting with email marketing and uh, with email marketing, when we talk about there are several things which one needs to keep in mind for doing email marketing. The very first and the foremost thing is, all right, perfect. The first and the foremost thing with uh, email marketing, which we have to keep in mind is that we do make, we do uh, want to make sure that whatever email campaign we send across, we should be sending it across to people who have subscribed or who have shared across their email addresses on our website. All right. So like the way you have a landing page in the landing page, you have got the form and so forth. Right now in whichever section of your website, you've got a form fill up. You're ultimately looking at, uh, you know, increasing your email database, right? You can go ahead and increase across you were you are absolutely going ahead and uh, increasing your database with the help of people coming onto your website and submitting their email IDs. Now, whenever you got the email addresses, you can go ahead and contact your contact these people with, with, with emailers altogether. And these emailer campaigns can be created and sent across with the help of various tools. So I'll let you know there are various tools guys. One of them is MailChimp, which I've already shown it to you. Right, Mailchimp is one of them. Then the other one is Constant Contact. Then there is Get Response. Then there is Vertical Response. Then there is Mandrill. I'm just opening across all of them. All right, so Soho is also offering 12,000 emails with 2,000 contacts, okay. Then there is Send Plus, Get Response is one of them. There are quite a many, all right. So we have got Zoho campaigns. I can try and test it out. My voice is breaking up. Let me just check. Oh, all right, so I'm absolutely on a perfect internet mode. I'll, I'll speak further and you can let me know if it still breaks up. I'm not sure why is that so because uh, there's nothing wrong with my internet. I just checked. Let me know if it happens again, okay? I'm just gonna speak further. So Zoho campaign is one. Get response is another one. I'll go ahead and uh, keep punching in across the URLs. All right, let me just go ahead and punch that across in a document again. I'll create a new document. So email marketing, first of all, we understood that it has to be done across by making sure that we send across emailers, emailers, email campaign to be sent across only to the subscribers, or you can say people who have shared across their email addresses on our website, email campaign to be sent across to the subscriber or in bracket visitors who have shared so website visitors basically website visitors who have shared their email IDs on our website with the help of a form fill up functionality and so forth, all right? Now that's one. This is with uh, regards to whom you can be sent across an email, promotional emailer. The other thing is, which I would like to, if not done this way, if not done this way, and uh, email campaign or email, right, email campaign that says being sent across to 
various email IDs which have not been shared by people on their own in brackets there are ways to actually procure those kind of lists purchase list is the name so you know people generally go in and purchase across email id list and then they send it across to, to that email address then that if if it's not done in the way it's mentioned above if not done this way i would rather tell it if not done if email campaign is not sent to subscribers and uh, let's say it's been sent across to various email IDs which have not been then the then the then get ready to get blocked guys all right so what are you doing you're actually in this case you are spamming people's inbox all right which is absolutely not correct so these are some do's and don'ts which should be done across whenever we talk about email marketing it all has to be permission based email marketing so then are you good with the uh, voice or are you, are you still getting the breakup stuff again is my voice still breaking up or is it good for you is it okay all right fine perfect good so moving ahead mailchimp is one of the so i'm i'm uh, now again the objective is when we talk about objective guys objective of an email campaign could be any various sort of objective objective of email campaigns can be any guys number one an email campaign could be all about building awareness all right or building awareness or you can say let's say somebody has first of all the moment someone came onto our website and filled up his or her email address in the in in the form fill up thing then uh, usually we go ahead and send across a thank you email so the a, a, a email campaign can be related to thank you emailers all right now you must have seen whenever we have subscribed to something and let's say it's a one year subscription or a subscription for one one month you should be start getting across emailers a uh, few days before our subscription is getting over so sort of a reminder or renewal right so renewal reminder emailers or it could be any other there could be any reminder any other reminder emailers that you know let's say you're going to uh, you have subscribed to a particular webinar and before the webinar gets started uh, five minutes before the webinar is about to get started half an hour or one hour before the webinar gets started you start getting across emailers saying that the session is going to get started in uh, some time and so forth all right so that's also a sort of an email campaign guys these are various different sort of email campaigns right so email campaign which is to do with reminder emailers so thank you emailer renewal reminder renewal emailers reminder emailers then on the basis of certain events you must have seen uh, various organizations try to send across emailers to their customers whenever there's a promotional stuff going on, right? There is some discounts, freebies, discounts and promotions, right? This is the major one which we usually get across, discounts and promotions, right? Or sales and so forth, whenever there is a sale. Plus, emailer campaign are being also sent across during those scenarios when, uh, what was I about to say? All right, so I, I, it was just there in my mind, I forgot it. Uh, thank you, email renewal reminder. All right. So whenever they you have got uh, whenever their customers have got their birthdays and anniversaries, right? Any specific big day, basically birthdays or maybe anniversaries, their work anniversaries, their uh, marriage anniversaries, and so forth. Whatever. 
on on those days also of the customers then also email addresses are being sent across now the thing is these tools which i'm going to talk about like mailchimp and so forth they make it so easy they make it so easy for us to go ahead and uh, send out emails to customers on the basis of the uh, specific objective to be met across now there are various other emailers guys which can be sent across to end audience on the basis of their action on the website so let's say there were 100 people who visited my website yesterday my my website is let's say an e-commerce website out of 100 who visited 10 people actually purchased a product now these 10 people will get a thank you emailer and also they'll get across let's say a feedback you are feedback emailer an emailer to actually get across feedback about how was their experience then in after certain few days they could be a uh, upselling emailer upselling in the sense let's say someone came to my website and purchased across a red shoe my website is a e-commerce website let's say somebody who purchased the e red shoe uh, today after two days an automatic emailer will go to him saying that okay we uh, you know feed feedback and all that would be done then there would be an upselling in the sense that you have already purchased the email would say you have already purchased uh, you know red shoe how about going ahead and buying across uh, a black socks along with that or whatever i mean you know something which will go along with it so upselling which is like uh, promoting a related product to someone who has recently purchased a product was recently purchased an item from your site from your website all right now this is upselling these are the kind of emailers which people usually send across there are another emailer kind another different kind of email campaign guys like abandon or abandon of cart so the example which i was taking that 100 people came onto my website out of those 10 people only purchased the product let's say uh out of 100 who came to my website there were 40 of them who actually added something or the other to their cart 30 of them didn't uh, uh you know made the transaction and then they didn't made the purchase out of 40 30 didn't purchase they abandoned the cart and rest 10 purchased so 10 are paid customers for which we have already spoken about they'll get upselling emailers and so forth people who have abandoned the shopping cart these email service providers will actually help us to go ahead and find out those people who have abandoned the cart and they will be pushed across an email saying that okay you came to our website you uh, you know added these things to your shopping cart but you didn't end up purchasing it right we are here to remind you one was the remarketing thing which we uh, you know spoke about remarketing being done across with the help of the display campaign now this is remarketing almost with the help of emailer right somebody who purchased who added few products to the cart but didn't end up uh, you know buying it it's these technology only which actually understands and tracks across the data of all those people who have done multiple activities on your website on the basis of their activities they will be sent across emailers which would become so much personalized right i for for an example i came you know i i went to a website and i did something i you know abandoned the shopping cart so this is the beauty of technology i'm getting across an emailer from the same website where i have added product to the shopping cart and i didn't purchase it so this is so personalized this is not just a normal promotional emailer which has been created and been blasted across to as many people as uh, you know and so forth this is so much uh you you can say absolutely personalized is the word with the help of these email service provider like mailchimp get response and so on forth and so on right and mailchimp is the overall uh, you know uh, they are the giants in this industry mailchimp is the most renowned one and uh, it works the best so abandon of cart that's another one and then there are several other um, you know things which people or visitors would do on the website and all you have to do is uh, you have to set up alerts you have to set up certain auto responders you have to set up across certain uh, you know rules on the basis of which 
the emailers will actually go to those set of people, only those set of people. All right, and so forth. Makes sense. Any questions so far? This is, I know, a bit of theoretical. We'll be doing a cross practical as we move further. Are we good with this? All right. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give me a second. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, list out the various different Okay, so it's typing a list of various different email service provider. Email service provider, which is ESV. What are these? These are basically tools, or you can say softwares or platforms. They're called online tools online softwares all right or whatever you want to call that so online softwares online tools which are used which are used across for the purpose of which are used for setup creation and setup of campaigns setup of email campaigns and whatever rules and alerts whatever to to send it send it out and so forth all right now here is the list basically the number one is mailchimp now there would be differences in all of them slightest differences i'm not going to get deeper into those uh, what is the difference between one email service provider with the other one and so forth I think there is no use in doing that. I'll straight away go ahead and let you know that which one works the best and so forth. All right, so I can see Zoho is actually giving us something more. Email marketing with CRM and social media. Let me just check the pricing for this. So they're giving something which is which is helping us to do several things. No, I think this is very much the same. All right, so unlimited emails, workflows, autoresponders, social campaigns also. But the free plan doesn't have that. All right, so I think still MailChimp is the best. All right, so the other one is get response. So in case you want the, uh, you, you got good amount of time and you want to check each one of them, you can absolutely do that. So these are some, some of them which I'm, I have used in the past, I'm aware of, which I'm sharing it across with you. Otherwise there are plenty of other tool sites which are available. I just forgot the pricing for this.
Okay. So still my research shows that MailChimp is still the best in terms of pricing and in terms of work. All right, so here are some of the email service providers, guys. And we would be using cross MailChimp, like I said. MailChimp offers you to create a cross an account, guys, for uh, free, first of all. And you can uh, send across emailer to 2,000 email addresses. You can send out email to 2,000 email addresses without incurring across any cost to 2,000 people and also with a free plan with MailChimp, not just 2,000 people, 2,000 unique people uh, would get across an email once, they can get across six times in a month. So total 12,000 email capacity, total 12,000 email capacity is there, all right, and uh, which is in a month. So the quota of 12,000 emailers in a month is, uh, is, is, in a, is a month thing. Every month you'll get across 12,000 emailers to be sent across. And there's a limit with the free plan, which is from the uh, sending is there for sure, which is 12,000 emailers. But to how many people can you send out? To maximum 2,000. So the 2,000 so 2, number of people whom you will be sending out an email would be, uh, maximum which you can send it six times. So 2,000 multiplied by six will give you 12,000 emailers. All right. So with that being said, uh, I'm just going ahead and logging into my MailChimp account, guys. All right. I'm clicking on the login. I would request you also to go ahead and sign up onto MailChimp at a later stage and work around it. I've already got an account with MailChimp, uh, a dummy account I, which I created. I'm logging into in logging into this and uh, we'll create across a dummy campaign and work around it. Okay, it's asking me to set up my SMS and so forth. All right, so these are some, uh, you know, information related to the account which you which we create across. Now, as you can see, this is the free account, guys, and I I mean, so on thirteenth of April, this particular number is actually going to. What do you say? get renewed so every month like i said 12000 emailers which i can send across and to 2000 subscribers if i want to go ahead and get more i can upgrade it across more than 2000 subscribers All right, so this one works the best. If I want to go ahead and uh, send out 5,000 emailers, it's going to be like $100. Now this is uh, pay as you go. Else I'm pretty much a regular emailer marketer. I can go ahead and uh, go for a monthly plan, all right? All right, so as of now, I'm going for free, and you've already seen how much money does it really need in terms of the credits and so forth. Every credit means every one single emailer. Okay, so I'm selecting across forever free option only. I can even go ahead and, uh, you know, get across APIs connected, integrated along, along with MailChimp. So the Insta page thing, which you remember, which I create, which I was showing you, even that can get connected to this 
to the MailChimp thing. So if anybody comes across to my, what do you say, landing page, which has been created with the help of Insta page, on my Insta page landing page, whenever there's going to be a form fill up, automatically those details will be exported across to my uh, MailChimp account. All right. So I don't have to really take that pain of taking first of all, all the leads, which I have received on my website, I have to export it and then for, and then import it across into MailChimp. I won't be doing that across if I have done the integration part very well. All right, so as you can see, there are several things which we can set up over here. We can even have a sign up form onto Facebook, onto, I can even retweet. I can actually tweet across what's the campaign I've sent across. Thus I can uh, you know, get across Google Analytics connected and my and different CRMs guys. Zoho CRM can also be connected and so forth. I've got a Zoho CRM. I can enter across the username and password for this. All right. So these are the things which can be done. And from the basics point of view, when it comes down to creating across an email campaign, the first and the foremost thing which you have to guys do is, first of all, set up a list, an email list. You have to go to the list section and click on to create a list. Now, what is the word list really means? List means the overall list of email addresses of those people who have come onto your website and have shared their details. And now you want to go ahead and send out an email to them. All right. So you can click on to create list. And here's going to be the list name. All right. So you'll punch in across things like, let's say, All right, so I, I'm just gonna go ahead and add on across, uh, you know, email addresses of all those who have been my past trainees and, and students and so forth. Now, what particular, from what particular default email address, then the email go across. All right, so. Now I have to type in across uh, remind people how did this sign up now I'm just letting them know if somebody gets to see my email and they want to know that why they have been getting across this email or let's say they're not able to recognize my name and so forth I can mention you know they will be able to get across a click the moment they'll click you they'll get this message message has to be set up by me All right, so I've just got some uh, small message. So I have got an example. I've taken the example uh, in order to set up my email account. And uh, the first thing is that I'm setting up the list, list of all those who have been my past students and so forth. I'm creating across a list of those and I'll uh, keep sending them email about what's happening in the industry and so forth. All right, so this that's the objective. Like, I mean, it's all about brand awareness and so forth. So we've got all the other details mentioned over here. And uh, now the other thing is, do you want daily summary in terms of what's happening with your email account and so forth? Yes. You want to know who all have subscribed and also unsubscribe. All right, so now click here to save. All right, so this is the list name, guys. The list has been created. Now, what needs to be done is, one has to go ahead and import across, import across an Excel sheet, which will have all the details. All right, so add contacts. 
and it says import contacts. Now I can import across contact, uh, contacts guys by placing it across in an Excel sheet and that Excel sheet should be not saved as an Excel sheet but as a CSV. All right, whenever you have an Excel sheet, all you have to do is CSV is an option to which you can, I'll just create across an Excel sheet, give me a second. I'll just find out a specific email list. All right, so I'm not getting across a list right now, which I want to upload across. Maybe I can get that later. All right, so I need uh, to build across a list in that case and then set it up. Alright, one second, I think I've got Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and create across a list guys now it's going to be a cumulative list altogether All right, so as of now, I'm just taking across. Uh... All right, sure, I'll definitely add your ID, absolutely. I hope I'm uh, mentioned it correctly, your first name and last name, right? All right, perfect. So I've got a list over here. I can go ahead and uh, add on more, just give me a second. First name, last name and email address.
All right, so I'll do this part later on. So I think that'll take some, so this will actually give you some sense of what exactly is happening over here. Right, so I'm just, All right, so this is one list which I'm creating across. I'm saving it across. All right, now one thing is that when I'm saving this Excel sheet, I have to make sure that I click on to save as, and then it has to be a CSV sheet. Instead of Excel sheet, it has to be a CSV, CSV format, all right? Yeah, this is the particular format to upload the emails. So uh, when I have got them in place, the CSV is the option which we have to select. And, uh, I'm saving it across. All right, so we're done with this. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going back to MailChimp and I'm, I've selected CSV and I'm clicking on to next. All right, now it's saying upload a file. I can go ahead and click on to browse. And I have to find out where did I uploaded it across. All right, so here's the list. And I have to click onto this. I understand when my bidding plan may be automatically upgraded. Next. Now, the columns guys which were there, the, I have to give them a name. The first column is actually the first name, right? The second one, Name is going to be named as the last name. And this one is basically the phone numbers. All right, so we do not have a phone number over here. I would have to see if there is an option. It says new column name and it's, so I had four things, right? One is the, okay, now this is the email addresses. So first name, last name, phone number, and email address, I have mapped it across, and then I have to click on to next, which is right up over here. All right, so importing four of four columns, and categorize the important list, contact as subscribed and click on to import. So there were 52 email, 52 contacts guys, which were there. One email was either in invalid or role based. Let's see which one was that. All right, not sure what exactly is the problem with this one. It says role based. What does that really mean? Oh, okay, so as per, but this was not actually a role based. It's saying one of the email address is a common email, like a role based one, like you usually have admin at the rate and so forth. So it's actually on the first name, but still it's taking it across as a role based one. I'm not sure how do we really go ahead and enter this across. Let me just try to do this in a, 
as a as a manual way in a manual way can i do that i'll just check this so all the entire database is right up over here okay i'm clicking on to next so this is overall 50 email addresses and then next and so forth now with that being said i would be going ahead and clicking on to add contacts add a subscriber here's the email address first name the person gave me the permission and it says if this person is already on my list update their profile i'm clicking on to subscribe All right, so it's, a, it's again not letting me add this. It's again saying it's a role-based thing. So we won't really go ahead and do this again. Okay, now the list has been created. We have got one particular list. We can create multiple lists like these. All right, so I've got one of the lists. Now, whenever I'll be sending across an emailer, it will give me the results in terms of the email which I've sent. What was the open rate? As in how many people opened the email? So out of 52, uh, people who will receive the email how many actually opened it and how many actually went ahead after opening it and clicking on to certain elements within certain elements within the emailer all right so what i'll do now we have got the list being set up the other thing is to go ahead and now create a campaign click on the campaign section and then click on to create campaign now i'm going to leave this on to you i would want you to actually uh, work around this but this is also drag and drop functionality there's also drag and drop functionality now the campaign name let's say i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna set up across a newsletter and send that across and uh, it's going to be a regular emailer when we set up across an email campaign the email design is going to be again uh, created across in the same fashion which uh, insta page provides us which is a drag and drop now i want to send across an email campaign to the entire list so i'll click onto this and click onto next now what is my campaign name it's newsletter what is the subject so let's say i can mention it's uh, All right, and uh, the next thing is the from name. What do you want? The from email address. So I actually want this one to be there. It's asking me to verify the domain that can be done. I don't want to do it right now. And you can go ahead and so all these are advanced stuff which we'll do later on. You can go ahead and connect across also to Facebook and also to Twitter and so forth. All right, so try exploring this and you'll get to see that this is pure, very simple. All right, there's one thing. Okay, this is. All right, so I have to verify this email address and there is a verification code being sent to me. All right, so I haven't received it yet. I'm just still waiting.
All right, so I'm just gonna check for the emailer and uh, get this confirmed. All right, so I haven't received any email yet from MailChimp. Certain times it takes a bit of time in certain instances. So I haven't received any email or yet. Mm -hmm. Not this one. All right, so I won't be able to send it across uh, till the time I do not receive an email from MailChimp. I am yet to receive that. All right, so might have to wait for some more minutes and so so forth. Not really sure when is that going to come across. So I believe you've got the concept right. Like how is this going to work? Like I would uh, request you to work around it play around with it and uh, come and maybe just try with the 10 email addresses also. If you can try out with 10 email addresses and, uh, and create across a campaign, the campaign creation process is very similar to the way we saw Insta page, right? With Insta page, there's this drop and uh, drag and drop functionality. Similarly over here also, in terms of creation of your email or campaign, it's a drag and drop functionality, right? You would have to create that, uh, get that, set up and then send it across to your list. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Will you manage to send it across on your own and then uh, let me know wherever you face any challenges? Does that work for you, Chaitanya? Let me know. All right, perfect. So whenever you face any challenges, you can let me know in the next session. And then uh, I'm not sure how the demo app is also created. All right, that's good, Gaurish. Good stuff. So do work around on the uh, website name also, right? Whatever website name you are thinking of, the web hosting, so either I'll provide it. So the website URL, you can uh, think of any particular website. So if you are coming up with, uh, with any uh, e-commerce website, you can, you can type in on Google and type in like you know domain name suggestions if you type in domain name suggestions it will give you a lot of suggestions in terms of uh, what name should you keep for your website all right so once you're done with the domain will will help you with the web hosting part next next week right uh, next uh, saturday the all right, and then we we'll take across your questions with regards to email marketing and also your web hosting stuff, and then we'll create your website after that. All right, so that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much. We'll be meeting across uh, next Saturday, same time, and we'll take it further from there. All right, take care till then. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Take care. Bye bye.